Master Cordova, did you find the Zepho? Only faint traces of their passage, heading deep into the unknown regions. Sorry to hear that. As it goes. Ultimately, that failure inspired me to seek out other Jedi survivors. That search led me back to my old apprentice. How have you been faring, Cal? That doesn't sound good. I've had a few scrapes, but I'm still breathing. And I'm glad for it. I heard some news about a Jedi terrorist on Coruscant not long ago. You were on Coruscant? the other guys this base is well hidden yes well the Empire's presence has grown these past years they are much too strong to fight directly but we do what we can it is critical of course that our work remains secret what work exactly Better to ask Seer yourself. Meanwhile, Marin and I will greet our new arrivals. So, how was the desert? Cold, stormy, and too many Imperials. Mm, not my preferred weather forecast. But more common by the day. Where did you weather the storm? A cave past the old market. Our spammel friend told us to land. We were happy. Reeves must be in the kitchen. We'll meet up with him later. Don't think I can call the lift from here. Master Cordova and I will wait for Greece. Go speak with Seer. The lift isn't here.
Just keep trying. It's not like Brother Armai has to break contact. Cal Kestis. Welcome to Jeddah. I knew the storm wouldn't deter you. You're rebuilding the temple archives. We're trying. As long as this knowledge remains, the legacy of the Jedi survives. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. But something tells me there's more to this than just hollow books. Yes. We're a part of a network known as the Hidden Path. We provide safe passage and new identities to those who have been persecuted by the Empire. Hunted by the Empire, like. like Jedi survivors? Very few of us remain. But yes. And for sensitives and those who help them. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> you never asked. Besides, I hear you've been busy making yourself the Empire's most wanted. I wanted to prove to the galaxy that the Empire is an invulnerable, that you can resist, that you have to fight if things are going to get better. But then they just listen to the propaganda and they pretend they're free anyways. Hmm. Yeah. You chose a hard path. And it hasn't made a difference. Well, while the Empire has trained its eyes on you, we've been able to build the network, find allies, and save lives. When you left, I thought you'd just given up. Was wrong. Cal, you were just a child when they sent you off to war. You know, there was a time when I remember that the Jedi were more than just weapons. But we both have our roles to play in this struggle. But that's why I'm here. See her. Well, you get a load of this! Hey, Seer, you can't say it ain't short of personality, <laughs> but kind of creepy, though. <laughs> well, it's good to see you two, Grease. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. hello, B.B. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, how was your time in the desert? The storm covered our tracks, but the Empire destroyed one of your speeders. It's a small price to pay for everybody's safe arrival. And who's this? This is Bodokuna. He's a friend. It's so nice to finally meet you. Uh, it's hunk of trouble! <laughs> hey! We're all together! <laughs> yes. Now, what brings you all to Jeddah? We're searching for a lost planet. Tantalor, you ever heard of it? It's on the other side of a deadly nebula called the Kobo Abyss. Well, our archives are far from complete, but I'm sure Master Cordova is up to the task. With pleasure. The trouble is, we're not the only ones looking for this place. I knew this was sounding too easy. Guy's name is Dagon Gera. He was a Jedi. Now he leads a band of raiders on the Outer Rim. There's an old temple there. Dagon intends to reclaim it. A Jedi temple out of the reach of the Empire could mean that there's information there that we don't have in the archives. I believe I have something. <laughs> Oh, you're too kind, VD. <laughs> I'll start with the bad news. Well, oh boy, this guy knows his audience. Ah. I found no information related to crossing the Kobo Abyss. However, I found two mentions of this Dagon Gera. He had a retreat on Kobo, and records show him frequently visiting a laboratory on its moon. Okay, we'll check him out. If you find anything, bring it to me. I am happy to assist further. Thank you. 
Both of you. You're welcome, Cal. I hope you find what you're searching for. May the Force be with you. And with you. I will escort you back to the Mantis. So you're not joining us? I cannot. Hey, Cal. Hold on. I've had this since I started freelancing. It's gotten me out of some bad situations, and I figured it might do the same for you. It's Marin, right? Well, I could get another one, if you think you might want it. No need. Both. <laughs> yeah, you're... you're good. Okay. The Master always frowned upon using blasters. You once said it wasn't the weapon that makes you a Jedi. <laughs> It's us against the galaxy, Cal. We've got to use every advantage we can find against the Empire. Thanks, Bo. Now, I'll show you how to use it. Won't stay still. Gotta start somewhere. There you go. Not bad. You know? So, how long have you been working for Seer? I do not work for Seer. Right. My mistake. You're really giving it to that guy. Cal does not like stormtroopers. Who does? Impressive. You got it, Cal. So where are we headed first? Back to Kobo? Or it's Moon? Let's hit the Moon Laboratory first. All right. Maybe... Give me a second. Haven't used these since the scrapyard on Braca. Roth gave them to me. I know I'll never be the same. Shook my world so hard again. Wish I washed away my sins. He's a dead man walking, blank staring.